So I know that some of you are going to be collaborating on student work and a lot of your student work is saved in Google Classroom. So I'm just going to give you a way that might make it easier to be able to share work with others on your team. So you're going to go to your Google Drive and you're going to create a new folder and then you're going to name it whatever works for you. Um, so teamwork, I don't know, whatever the date is, let's say it's January 7th and I'm probably putting the wrong date, whatever you want to name it. What I would do is I would either put a couple of spaces at the beginning of it or maybe an asterisk, oops, an asterisk at the beginning of it. Um, what you'll notice is that it will bring it right to the top of your Google Drive. So I'm going to put two spaces and I'm going to do create. So now you're going to see that it comes right to the top of my Google Drive. Anything with two spaces will come before anything with one space at the beginning, which will come before anything with an asterisk at the beginning, which will come before anything with numbers, which will come before anything starting with A. So that's kind of the hierarchy, and it just makes it easier. Later on, you can remove the spaces, and it will fall down amidst the ranks below. So now I have the folder where everything is going to go. But the work that I want to be able to share is is in Google Classroom. So I'm going to go to my folder that's called Classroom. This is not something you created. This is something that's automatically created behind the scenes within Google as soon as you create a Google Classroom. So you've probably had it for years. So when you open this up, it's probably full of way more folders than what I have. But I'm going to go ahead in here and I'm going to open up one of my folders and let's say that this is the student work these three documents that I want to share with my team it could be something deeper in a folder you just want to find out wherever the work is and what you need to share so I can drag my mouse across it if I want to highlight those three or I can click the first one hold down my shift key and click the last one it will select all of them however you want to do it you can do it one by one if you're not sharing all of them but I'm going to pretend that I'm sharing all three so now all three are highlighted so I can now go up here to the little three dots and that's the more menu the snowman or I can right click and I'll get the same menu so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of these I'm going to click on make a copy and now all of the ones that I have created all are in the same area create a copy of so now I'm going to shift and click the ones that I want shift. there we go so I'm grabbing just those three and now again either I can go up to the snowman and I can click there or <laughs> I just lost it or I can right click and now I'm going to move it where am I going to move it? I'm going to click move to and I'm going to put it to my new one that I just created which is where did it go? Oh it's not in Mrs. Brooks tech support it's not in classroom it's in my drive and it's right here at the top where I created space space teamwork I'm going to click that and I'm going to move it and I'm going to move them. So now my Google Classroom folder stays exactly the same as it was before I started messing around in there. And now if I go back to my drive and I go to my teamwork up here, I now have that work, that student work that I want to be able to share with my other team members. Be sure when you are in this folder here, whoever creates it, that you share that with who whomever is going to be working on it with you. So right now mine's restricted. The only one who's going to collaborate in there is me. So I would want to make sure I add the team members that are going to be working along with me. You would all use one folder. So one person creates it, let the other people know, share that with them so they know where to save all of their student work so that you can all access it easily. I hope this helps a little. Good luck and have fun on Monday.